The crowd was light on a Monday afternoon at Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport, replicating the same atmosphere Minnesota experienced on Sunday when they defeated the Phoenix Mercury to claim their third straight Western Conference title. Such a setting made recapping the game a very fitting gesture. Along the way, that was challenging. You know, we wanted to play better. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, Way wanted to do better. We wanted to rebound better. We wanted to make free throws. But um, in the end, it just says that we find different ways to win. And I told them, whatever it takes. You know, we, we're, we're like an amoeba. You know, whatever, whatever shape we need to take, that's what we can do. And, and uh, I think yesterday was an example of that. It was hard at the end. They, they, they didn't quit. They came back a little bit. We had to really grind it out. And we stayed together. We stayed poised and finished it. Getting out rebounded, that definitely wasn't the plan. But, you know, we don't depend on one person. You're talking about Lindsay's play uh, specifically. She did a lot of other amazing things. She had a ton of assists and, you know, she was really the floor general. So everybody played their part and did their role. And we came out with the win. I think it just shows the, the depth that the team has and just that we're able to do other, you know, people are able to step up on any given night and um, I feel like um, that's a, a strength of our team. It uh, feels great. You know, I have never experienced uh, a conference championship in my basketball career, so uh, it definitely feels good. You know, I'm happy to be here. The team played great. And uh, you know, I'm really, really proud of the way we guarded it out. Yeah. That's the thing about this team is we didn't even really execute everything that we know we could. Um, you know, and Phoenix tested us. You know, uh, they they crashed the boards really hard. We're typically the team that wins the rebounding battle. We have to do that in order to win a championship. But you know, we made other plays happen. Uh, get to the free throw line a little bit more. Um, trying to just execute offensively. Sometimes it comes down to just making shots when it counts. So. Um, we executed you know, on the offensive end, and, and our defense really came through for us at the end. In accordance with their steadfast support, no day of the work week would temper the enthusiasm of Minnesota's fans. It's an amazing feeling. Uh, it's just a blessing to be able to be able to go back to the finals. Uh, it's just one more step in our journey. We're not finished yet. We have a lot of other things that we want to complete, so we're just going to take game by game and see what happens. The continuity uh, of our roster has been really important. The continuity of our staff, um, great leadership, and Lindsay, Simone, and Rebecca. Obviously, Taj being a part of you know two of those three years, uh, and that's where that's where it starts and ends every day. Uh, what those guys give us, so um, good health. And it's certainly a part of it. If you look at some of the other teams that didn't necessarily weren't as fortunate, we've been very, very fortunate. Hopefully, we can we can maintain that. I'm just happy to do it. Have been able to, you know, be on uh, these great teams with all these great players and great coaches and everything. And um, you know, the journey is what makes it fun. And um, you know, now we know we're not we're not we're not done. We want to, you know, uh, keep on keep on going. But you know, take a day to um, you know appreciate the fact that we're back in the finals is. Um, Really special. We, we really all understand how special this group is and getting here it's not surprising it is awesome and we do celebrate it um, but I think this is exactly what this team is supposed to be doing. It's amazing to be able to come home after after winning the, the Western Conference Finals and being able to have our fans here and being able to celebrate with them. Um, I just hope as, as a team and as a fan base that we don't become complacent. Uh, we understand the hard work that we put in throughout the year and you know, and to help the fans and understand how much we appreciate them. I achieved something I never achieved before, so, you know, kind of a little stepping stone for my career and obviously for the team to uh, advance to the finals. We're happy that it happened, but you know, we're definitely not, uh, not done this season, that's for sure. I give a lot of credit to our fans. They've embraced this team. Um, the, the fact that it's so hard to come to Target Center and play. Um, players say that when they leave after, after uh, experiencing it. Um, you know, it makes these guys feel great. You know, what they do actually means something to people. And, uh, obviously, they're passionate about their, their profession, but to be able to share it with such great fans is special. You have different experiences and different, you know, emotions or thoughts or memories, and um, you just, you, yeah, you're always going to have those memories. Every journey is different, but I think that throughout this year, we continue to grow and we continue to get better. We had uh, some time throughout the season where we had to try to regroup and come together. We had a stretch where we lost five games, but I think that that just made us stronger. Um, and, there's, there's not the same back-to-back -back pressure as there was last year, so we don't have to focus on that. It's a new season, it's a new journey, and you know, we're, we're prepared for everything that anybody can throw at us. And how would you say Janelle is handling this uh, airport experience and meeting up with everybody? <laughs> She's handling it great.
great. Very well. J Mac loves uh, to just see people smile, so uh, that's what she's doing now. I heard uh, we're one or two or three in the standings, but in my eyes, everywhere we go, no fans are as great as Minnesota fans. They're energetic. They bring so much uh, life and you know the atmosphere for us to play through. Um, you know, I really do think we're some of the luckiest players that we have, the fans we do, even to show up at the airport like this and come support us. You know, they, they really feel the victories and they're helping us all the way along. I think just to get back is, uh, is always a, a really big accomplishment, you know. I think that, um, you know, you can't, like, you know, Coach says, you can't win one until you get there. And so I think you really have to, uh, you know, feel good about the fact that we put ourselves in the situation to, you um, you know, going to a series with the chance to, to win another title, and um, it's a it's a really uh, cool accomplishment. And uh, obviously, we're all really excited, and uh, we know we have work to do yet. This team is focused on this year's journey. We haven't listened to um, other people about how they feel about us and where they picked us. So, um, we really don't talk a lot about last year. Um, we did learn from last year. I think it made us tougher, both mentally and physically. And, um, you know, maybe those feelings, we don't want to have those feelings again. That'll be a little bit extra motivation, but uh, no, I, I just think this group is enjoying the, the, this this particular journey together. Every series, uh, you know, from round one to round one to round two, it's always, you know, different. And, uh, uh, you know, it's uh, similar. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, every year is a different thing, like I said, so uh, just have to take it one game at a time. You know, back when I was there, the other teams, and I never thought you know this chance would present itself. Um, you know, through the years, things change and opportunities come up, and I you know jumped at this one the second it did. I know he's just the next step in all the trophies, but do you got a name for this one yet? Mm. 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 It looks like a shark. I think we've named it. A sweat. Shark know, Week. Shark Week. <laughs> Definitely, if you had something to pry open, this would be really handy. Yeah. There you go. Sharp corner. Let's, let's pry open the box to the trophy. Yeah. It's called the next step. That's right. There it is. Stepping stone. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. stepping stone. We appreciate the love, the support, and if you all are not there on Sunday for this first home game of the finals, we're not friends no more. <laughs>